Hi Minions! Wheezy here, trying to uh, do a gameplay commentary for like the first time in a long time. Um, I have a couple things that I kind of want to mention briefly that I ought to do a separate video that's not a gameplay video on and then I'll talk a little bit about the Modern Warfare beta that I've been playing so far. Um, first thing is I've been toying around with this idea of um, kind of, I want to open source everything like not just specific to this channel, right? I want to open source things. And, and what I mean by that is that I record a lot of gameplay videos and more often than not because I either don't have time to, to get to editing them all or or I just don't necessarily want to post like 15. If I get 15 gameplays in like a weekend, I don't want to post like all of them. And then after a couple weeks go by, it's like, ah, I don't want to, I got new ones and I want to post those. So I basically end up with a lot of captured video that I just captured don't do anything with. Video. There ends up stored away on my hard drive somewhere and just kind of disappears into the ether. Or or even I'll go back and look a couple of months later um, and be like, oh, this is a good gameplay recorded way back then, but I can't, I'm not going to post it now. Like, what's the point? So sometimes I either just like archive it or delete it. I just have all of this video that I capture and I don't necessarily do anything with it. So, um, in a larger philosophical connection with how I want to do things, I want to, um, I'm thinking about basically creating like something like a Dropbox or maybe opening up a part of a Google Drive account to um, post some of those, basically the videos that I capture to <laughs> so that uh, people can access them. Um, you guys specifically can download those videos um, and then do stuff with them, right? So I don't necessarily have all the time in the world to be editing a bunch of gameplay videos. Um, but you guys might have some time to spare. You know, we probably don't have a lot of time either. But if you want to, I mean, I might as well put it out there. And as hopefully as the con channel continues to grow um, and more people show up and there's more people available, I can have my content out there. Really, I don't even necessarily even have an idea of what to do with it necessarily. What you you guys can go out and cut up clips or make montages or make videos or um, like stuff that I can you can make stuff that you like, hey here's here's a video that I cut up, a gameplay of yours. Do you want to post it on the channel? You know, I could even I'll open source my intros and everything, like my end cards. You guys can create videos that look just like the way that I do it, except if you want to get my stupid talking face or something like that, we'll have to figure something else out, but, um, yeah, it's just an idea I'm toying around with. I had to do a separate video for that, so I'll kind of, I'll kind of stop there, see what you guys think about that, and then I'll, like I said, separate video. Um, so Modern Warfare, um, if you guys know, I'm kind of all over the place. My camera's up here, the screen that I'm watching my camera's down here, and then the screen with the gameplay is over here, so... I'll figure this out. I'm just doing this in one take right now. I'm just going to deal with it. So if I'm glancing around and looking kind of spastic, that's why. I'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, this was a, a good, what is it, what do I have, domination, win. a good gameplay. I did some flanking. Um, my first impression, not my first impression, my biggest impression, my biggest takeaway um, from, from the Modern Warfare beta so far is that assault rifles are just far and away the best, most versatile weapons in the game. They can compete, if not outshine SMGs at close range. They can compete, if not outshine um, sniper rifles at long distance, other than the one-hit kill, but, I mean, snipers kind of have their own thing. Um, the marksman rifle, I use the M14 a little bit, and I love the M14 in other Call of Duty games. There's so much flinch on the M14 that it is just useless. If you, if anybody even hits you, you can't aim. I mean, it's good if you can, if you basically use it like a two-shot sniper rifle where you have to be hidden, you have to get the jump on someone. Like, it's just, I hope they fix something about that because the M14 is just kind of useless. Um, but the R13, the M4, and then even though it's an SMG, the, uh, well, it just jumped right out of my head. The the bullpup one, whatever. The good S, like the one that's not the MP5 or the MP7. Those are good SMGs. The um, it's just jumped right out of my head. That one. 
the other SMG that's not the MP5 or the MP7, um, it basically plays like an assault rifle. Like it, so those three weapons are dominating the beta. That's just what everybody's using. Um, except for, the f you don't see it as much because it's not one of the creative classes, but the default, uh... FAMAS is also a good bursting machine, so when it gets into the full game, I think you're going to see a, more assault rifles become the most common things in the game. The AK, I haven't ranked up the AK to get a lot of the attachments that might calm down the recoil on it. The AK is almost... It's, it's like the worst assault rifle because it, it's the, the recoil is a little bit ridiculous. I haven't unlocked all the things to t try and tame the recoil. R13 and the M4 straight out of the box. <laughs> no attachments. Our laser beams of death. Like, they just are. Um, so there's... I'm not going to use that as a dig on the game because I like assault rifles, but I also like being able to... You, if you guys remember my old gameplay videos, I like to throw on... Um, other like guns and just play around like back in the COD 4 days put an ACOG on a Scorpion and go and play with it like I like being able to um, to, to use every gun in the game and at least have the chance to be effective with it and I've played quite a few matches in this beta and if I'm not using an assault rifle I'm not really going to be getting a noteworthy gameplay and by that I mean even a gameplay that's super enjoyable like when I'm playing the round if I'm not using an assault rifle I feel like I've handicapped myself like I literally feel like I'm trying to make it harder and that just takes away the enjoyability but if I play with an assault rifle then it, I'm playing with the same two guns the entire time which yeah as far as a like a tactical like gameplay standpoint if it's like play to win then that's just what to do. Like, this gameplay is a good example of just what you can kind of do with an assault rifle. I, I don't know, maybe I'll post some of the other gameplays where I just try to struggle bus it with the SMGs and stuff like that, and I've pulled out some okay games. Like, I can break even or go a little positive, but if you're really going to just, like, be able to successfully, consistently fight, in, especially in these beta maps, I mean, maybe, you know, again, limited selection, maybe not representative of the full game, but... On the few maps in this beta, they are all mid-range maps, and some of them give you some long ranges where you can do some sniping or some longer range stuff. And they've also got a lot of in-close areas, but the problem is the in-close areas are far enough away that most of your engagements aren't going to be up close, so the SMGs are harder to use, uh, at least in their strengths. You'll, you'll end up a lot of times in an SMG battle against an assault rifle at medium range, and you're just going to lose all of those fights. You, you just will. And at close range, that assault rifle still might beat you. I mean, because it's just full auto at up close. I mean, it's, and the, the damage bo bonus for SMGs up close doesn't seem to be that dramatic versus the assault rifles. The assault rifles definitely don't have a damage drop-off up close. So basically, the assault rifles work like SMGs, but they have less damage drop-off over distance. And they have lower recoil and more consistent. Like, they're just better. They're just better. I'm going to spend this whole video talking about how much better the assault rifles are, and I, I'm using words like versatile and stuff like that. I don't want to use the word overpowered because they don't. I don't want them. Ner I don't want them to be weaker. They kill about as fast as they should. They handle the way that they should. I think the maps are just kind of set up to where the SMGs don't quite get as much balance. In a closer quarters map, an SMG would have a slight advantage over an assault rifle. I believe that. If the, some maps were a little bit more wide open, you'd probably get some more sniping in there. Shotguns are another one of those weapons where you're kind of using it as a challenge or just to unlock attachments because the SMGs will outclass the shotguns in pretty much every scenario. LMGs, I do like the LMGs. LMGs are basically like super heavy assault rifles that you don't have to reload. Um, so if you don't mind moving a little bit slower... Uh, and having a really low, slow reload time, which you really don't have to care about because you got so many, so much ammo. I like the LMGs. I say LMGs. There's two in the game, and I've only used one of them. I just put the other one on. I'm going to play with it a little bit. But the first LMG, I enjoy using. Um, you have to be a little bit more methodical and deliberate because you're moving slower and you can't really snap up your sights quite as fast. But I like the LMGs. So. I keep thinking maybe it's just my play style. I'm, I've always been more of an assault rifle central kind of person. But in other games, I could throw on an SMG and the map and play the maps in such a way that it felt like I could be at, 
at least as effective with an SMG if I just switched up my playstyle to be an SMG playstyle. I don't feel like I can do that so far in Modern Warfare. I feel like if I change up my playstyle to be an SMG playstyle, I still am better off with a, an assault rifle. Just because in between those small areas of the map where you're going to get those close engagements, you're going to have to transition and you're going to need something that works at medium to long range. Otherwise, you're going to die in transition, or you're going to be stuck in a small area, and then people are going to come back to the because they just know you're there with an SMG. That's just, that's just going to happen. I, it's not a dig. I'm really enjoying the game. Um, I'm looking forward to it launching. I'm, this is a Call of Duty that I'm going to be playing the shit out. This feels like a natural progression of COD 4. Like, and, as, and I've gone back and been playing you know, the Modern Warfare remastered a bunch. Like, that's been my, like, when I feel like shooting something, I've either been playing Battlefield 5 or COD, or Modern Warfare remastered. Because it's just, COD 4 still great. This is gonna just completely put that aside. Like, this is, this is my COD game. Like, this is my, my shooter game now. Um, until... Uh, another, a, a modern Battlefield game comes back out. I'm a little tired of the World War One, World War Two crap. When a modern Battlefield comes out, it'll, I'll go back to being split, but, um, right now I'm enjoying the beta. Drawn to the end, as I got my chopper gunner right as the game ended. <laughs> Didn't even realize I was gonna get it, so I just called it in anyway. But, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Gonna keep playing, um, the can, and then, and then obviously play it when it comes out next month, so. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of my idea about open source in my videos, and uh, hopefully it won't be a month before I post stuff again. Later. <laughs>